Two. Carnegie Hall, please. From Carnegie Hall, it's Jeff Spurgeon. And I'm John Schaefer. And we just enjoyed a fabulous concert by the San Francisco Symphony and their music director, Michael Tilson Thomas. An all Mahler Saturday night at Carnegie Hall. And sort of the beginning and the end of Mahler. We got to hear the entire first symphony. And we also heard what there is of his last symphony, the Adagio movement of the proposed Symphony Number no. 10. He died before he could complete it. But he did finish that particular movement. Uh, that was the first half of the concert, so we had the end at the beginning tonight. Right. But I loved in that, uh, that uh, unfinished 10th symphony, that opening movement, this huge, huge melody. That Especially at the beginning. Yeah, you know, it just grew. It just yeah. grows and grows. It's so expansive. And then the first symphony, which has so much happening in it, and frankly, it just begins so beautifully. It begins outdoors in nature. You ruined the beginning for me. Oh, though, did, oh by, I'm sorry. By what telling me, by mentioning Star Trek. <laughs> it's like now. I'll never be able to hear the beginning of the Symphony Number no. 1 again without hearing Space, the final frontier. We didn't hear it tonight, but there's no question in my mind that Alexander Courage stole Absolutely. That, that first little scene setting that Mahler has. But there are folk songs, village sounds, and so much emotional territory that's covered in that first symphony. It's a rich orchestral palette. As you had pointed out, Mahler uses it again and again through all of his symphonies. It's great. And San Francisco, MTT, you know, they know this music inside out. They've recorded all of it, won Grammy Awards for their recordings. So it's it's a really wonderful and very authoritative performance. And you can enjoy it again because you can in, uh, hear the entire concert. It's online now for listening at wqxr.org. Mm -hmm.